Hello, me again. Uh, part 8 of our mountain building series uh, for the winter section of the train. Uh, just wanted to point out today that uh, we're, we are doing the wash, uh, first layer of color on the, uh, on the newly plastered mountain. It's dried, it's taken about 48 hours, so it's got a nice hard shell on it, taped up uh, to protect the background area. And um, what I'm doing is I'm applying um, paint just in a regular spray bottle. This is a mixture, just using acrylic paint, mixture of black, white, um, burnt umber, and uh, really thinned out with a lot of water. And and what you do is you just apply layer after layer of, of wash. So what you see now in front of you is one coat on the entire mountain, sprayed very unevenly. That gives it some color, etc. And then once it dries a bit, I go over it again, very much like this. And you can see how the paint just runs down in different streams. And, and that's what you want. You want that effect. You want it to go on heavy in some places and thin in others. It pools and puddles. This is, this is what you want because it gives it that natural rock look. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to keep applying this layer after layer, letting it dry, uh, continuing to add more paint, and uh, always in a very thin, thin concentration. That way if you make a mistake and you might have a bad mixture or something that you don't like from a color perspective, it's very easy to cover up again with a, di with a different kind of mixture uh, of colors that are more suitable for your mountain. But as you see here, I think this is a fairly safe base gray that I have with some hints of brown in it. Uh, it gives it a nice tone. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to spray another layer of this on it. And then what we'll do later on after it dries, we'll see what the what the look is and what the depth uh, perception is of the of the mountain to as it looks like rock. And then from there we'll do what's called a shadow layer, and that's when I use very thin, thin, thinned out black, and just give it a spray of black. And what happens is that allows some uh, some shadows and nuances, veins of rock, etc., to show, and very much um, like what you see over here uh, on this mountain. Uh, this was washed with a layer of black after, uh, afterwards, and also uh, this one here. This one has a little bit more brown in it than the others, but on the upper portions where there's uh, more of the stone, the vein rock look, that comes from from applying, uh, you know, the first after the base levels, the the black wash, which really picks up the shadows, and then all of those white highlights. You you were gonna use a, a white paintbrush later on to dry brush and do some highlighting and that's where you'll pick up um, this realistic look that you're that you're going for okay so with that I will uh, end this video this chapter and um, we'll pick up again uh, in episode 9 with the black shadow wash so uh, like like always if you have any comments suggestions or uh, or questions just leave them uh, on the uh, on the site and I'll take a look at them. Uh, other than that, I will talk to you later.